So we learned what the Ten Commandments are from the Bible. Now let's think about why God gave them to Moses and included them in the Bible for us. Can any person keep these commandments for their whole life and never break any of them? No. One, one thing these commandments show us is that we sin. We can't keep God's laws. It doesn't matter which one we disobey. If we lie or covet something, we've broken God's law. If we roll our eyes or talk back to our parents, we've broken the fifth commandment to honor our parents. Some people think they're okay because they haven't murdered anyone or stolen something, but it doesn't matter which command we break. They are all God's commands, and we sin when we break any of them. Why would God give us these commandments if he knew that we could never keep them? Let's find the answer to this in the New Testament. So we're going to turn... Hi! We're going to turn to the book of Galatians. It's after 1st and 2nd Corinthians. Let's read Galatians 3:24. Let me put it another way. The law was our guardian until Christ came. It protected us until we could be made right with God through faith. This verse says that God's law, which includes the Ten Commandments, is like a guardian. A guardian is a teacher. Back in the Apostle Paul's days, a guardian was like a teacher or a caregiver for children. Some guardians taught the children and were often strict. So according to Galatians 3.24, God's law was like our guardian or teacher until who came? Until Christ, Jesus. What did Christ do? The answer is at the end of the verse. He justified us by faith. Justified means accepted or made right. What the Apostle Paul is saying here is that the Ten Commandments help us understand that we are sinners. We can never keep all of God's commands, and we can't save ourselves from God's punishment for breaking his commands. But that's where our Savior, Jesus Christ, comes in. The law points us to Jesus. Jesus was the only human who ever obeyed all the commandments perfectly. And then he took the punishment that we deserve for breaking God's law when he died on the cross. When we understand that we are sinners, there is nothing we can do to save ourselves. And when we turn to Jesus and believe in him by faith, then we are justified or made right with God. That is the good news of the gospel, and it begins by understanding the law. God gave the Israelites law to show them how they should act toward him and toward each other. These laws were important for everyday life, but more than this, God wanted them to understand they were sinners who needed the promised Savior Jesus. The Ten Commandments showed the Israelites their sin, and they do the same for us today. Jesus taught that the Ten Commandments meant more than just what we say or how we act on the outside, like stealing or disobeying. He wanted us to understand that sin starts with a sinful heart attitude like hatred, anger, greed, and selfishness. When we look at God's law, it helps us to see these attitudes we have inside. The law is like the bad news of the gospel. It shows us that we all sin and we all deserve God's punishment. That's why Jesus came and died, to take our punishment on the cross. Then he rose from the dead and conquered sin and death. Now we who believe in him can be forgiven, justified by faith. We are made right with God, and that's the good news of the gospel. Have any of you ever tried to explain sin to someone before? It can be hard to tell people that they've sinned and broken God's laws. But the Ten Commandments are the only way we can share this bad news. By explaining these commands, we can help people understand that we all sin and we all need Jesus. You can use your pictures we learned to remind you of these important commands. Then you can help people understand the bad news, that they are sinners, so that they will understand the good news, that Jesus came to die for them. I'll see you guys next week. God spoke all these words saying, I am the Lord your God, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, out of the house of slavery. And you shall have no other gods before me. Shall have no other gods before me, yeah. You shall have no other gods before me, no other gods before me, no other gods.